good at morning guys welcome to today's video today is saturday morning and it is 11 51 we're headed out we're headed out because little miss here decided okay so we're little miss back there has decided all of a sudden that she wants chickens i let her wait look at do you like what i did with the but with the with the bar in there sam i cleaned it all out we cut all this bush back yeah i was gonna cut that because it was all messy it was all messy so do you like what we did yeah. i mean it needs to go back further we need to get rid of all that stuff beside yeah, the barn you know, realize how short will's mane is yeah, yeah we made uh, so many changes uh, yesterday the main on the floor nobody cleaned it up oh it's so fall Ooh, Sophie. Last night. Okay, so anyways, a little miss decided last minute she wants chickens. I let Sophie <laughs> have the choice. Chicken. I let Sophie have the choice because she's the one that does all the work for them. So we need to go get yeah, chicken so food. Yeah, so I do the work, they're mine. Yeah, and so we're going to go. We planned it out. We're not going to get like eight or nine chickens this year. Yeah, hopefully. I don't want eight. We don't want like a bunch. And eventually, after they clean up the chicken coop area, we're going to let them roam free. We're going to try it. We're going to see what will happen. But and we're going to trust they're like friendly and like love us and literally walk up to us yeah so because you i worry about my garden because i put a lot of effort into that garden but anyway eat all the weeds Ooh, you're yeah here. anyway so we're gonna go today and pick out a couple of chickens um I we we out. you guys oh, if you've been following for any length of time then you know that we get our chickens from this amazing guy he's got this big compound he's got runner ducks he's got you name it this guy's got it he's Three got ducks? No, he's got my favorite kind of chicken, which is the white cochin chicken. It's like a giant chicken, white, fluffy, girly. Love that chicken. He's not available today, so we're not getting that chicken today. We're gonna get two of those chickens. But um, we are gonna go someplace else. A friend of ours has chickens, and he's gonna let Sophie choose a couple of those chickens to get us started. And Kayla's gonna help name them. Yeah, so we're doing that now. You guys are coming along with us to get ourselves some chickens. Sophie has a white one available, so I can name it Molly. She wants a white one. one. So because we, I had a Molly, but then we had to give her a Yeah, Sophie's been missing chickens. We tried to do a summer without chickens. Not all the work for them. Yeah, it's a lot of work, like everything. It's a lot of work. And when you see a snake, and you drop everything and run, you literally run for it and you're struggling to close the gate. Then when we get back, we're gonna do something fun with Kaylee and Gabby. And Gabby and Kaylee are getting up and getting dressed and you all know Gabby takes forever to do everything. So we're gonna do our running around, get our chickens, get everything situated, and then we're gonna go back and get them. Great, there thank you. you. All right, so we got the food, we got some other stuff done running around, and now we're headed at home. Or actually, now we're headed to get the chickens. But before we do, we're stopping at Starbucks to give the girls a drink. And Kaylee always gets us going on all these new drinks. So she sent me like what she wants. And Sophie, where did you find this, Sophie? TikTok. Sophie found this on TikTok. She's good. Yeah, she's getting a, a mango dragon fruit with no water, strawberry puree, blended in top of puree and whipped cream. I want that. I love mango. And then Kaylee wants an iced chai latte with brown sugar syrup. And then Gabby just wants her pink drink. She gets it every time. I like trying new things. It tastes like raspberry, but it's good. And enjoy it. Thanks. Have a great day. So if any of you guys are new to Starbucks, then I'm going to tell you the trick. The trick, I always thought their drinks were awful. Like, it was this watered down, barely tasted water with ice but the trick is to get it without, without water. Look at the lineup. Like we already just got through, but look oh, at the lineup. Baby. Right, we got them, got the chickens. She's gonna do an introducing my chickens video when we get home, huh? Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna play with them. Oh, Kayla, open this now. All right, tell them, tell them your name, their name. Okay, so the striped one, Kayla gets to choose its name. And then the small one, the younger one is Zoe, and then the white one's Molly. Yeah. We just got three, and she gets to pick, and we have another option to get a couple more if we oh. want from another guy that has my dream chicken breed. I don't know how it's going to work out. He says it's a really busy time for him, so maybe he'll have time to, like, meet with us in the next week or so, but we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But, yeah, we got chickens again. We're a little nervous because we're in this section, I know. and there have been snakes in the past. There's... So if you don't know, chickens are amazing and they'll eat all this stuff. They will destroy all this. Sophie's excited 
They'll love this green stuff. At their other home, they didn't have it's any not green. Closing all the way. It's fine. All right, so he's gonna release them. She picked these herself. We don't know all the breeds. Free chickies, can I dump them out? No, just wait, they'll come out. Chickies, I'm waiting. That one's my favorite. The white one? Here, what if I? Okay. All right, let's see. Come on, there she goes. There's the one Kelly needs to name. And this is my Whoa, favorite. She's little. And. Oh, what about you? What other one did we get? This is a special one. Come on out, baby. Come on. It's a gray one. Come on out. Oh, there she goes. Oh, there she goes. I want to pick her out. It's okay. Oh, come on. Let's throw them in here so they can see where we're going to put them food and water for them. Uh oh. Don't go out there. Chicken. Uh oh. You're trying to commit suicide. Here. Yeah, look, there's a little perch there for you. Good girl. Throw her, throw them in there. And there's a little perch area here for them. Come here, Zoe. Zoe, Zoe. Look, there's probably lots of bugs in here for you to eat. Oh, Zoe. Oh, she's adorable. Hi. Oh, you are sweetie. She's a little dirty from being in the... So she's a bit younger, I think. Zebra. Zebra. Come on, Zebra. Uh-oh. Jeez. Jeez Louise. I'm a professional Don't kill you. <laughs> Don't kill yourself. Oh my gosh. We're going to go get them some food and water. But the reason I love this, this coop, even though it's small. Aww. See, they She's so cute. Hi, princess. We love you. Yeah. Oh, my heart already feels good, and I love that we have all this greenery in here for them. Oh, look, they're already eating. Oh, what? Over. Come here, I'll show you. They're already excited, you guys. All right, comment below. What's your favorite? Look at that little guy. That's such a little yeah, guy. Name Zoe. Oh, look, she's gonna have a um. Dirt bath already, or she's looking for bugs. This has not been touched for over a year. So Sophie's dream came true, you guys. She woke up this morning, and now there are three chickens in here. So we have one up in there now. So I have a big, bigger feeder and a bigger waterer, and I'm gonna go get those right now and get them all set up. I'm gonna give them lots of food and lots of water, cause, cause that's the kind of girl we are. Got that one. <laughs> there you go. If you let me catch you, I can show you what we're doing. She might be a bit older. And one got out. And it's the one. And it's the hardest one to catch. I'm going to call Gabby. Gabby's a good chicken catcher. Just don't let the dogs out. All right, so we have this fresh water that they get from the bottom. But the reason I love this coop so much, especially now that it has all these plants and stuff growing into it, is because sometimes chickens don't have don't handle the sun and the heat. So I like that they have like an area they can go in the sun and then they have an area that's nice and shaded in here and a tarp to keep the rain off them even though the rain still comes in. But I love it you guys and maybe we'll expand on it this summer and open it up so it can go out further and they can kind of wander more. And I think she looks like an Easter egger. Doesn't she look like an Easter egger? Look at those cheeks. The white one and that one. Yeah, Molly, look at her. Let's wait till she puts her head up. See those cheeks? Doesn't she look like an Easter egger? They're already eating bugs. Good girls, yeah. So until they learn how to use this thing, I have that. And I like to put their food underneath there because it protects it from the rain as well. Look at how cute she is. You're adorable. I don't know how old she is. I don't know if she's like a bantam breed or if she's just young. What's the Bard Rock's name? Uh, zebra. Zebra. Comment below your favorite name for a chicken. My favorite name. Comment down below a name for her because I don't know a name. My favorite name for a chicken is Lucy. I love the name Lucy for a chicken. For a hen. Lucy. Lucy Goosey? Lucy Goosey. pretty you are. You're adorable. Because she has got the Easter egg or cheeks kind of. I do not know what breed she is. 
I like her though. Yeah, I think she's really chicken. pretty. I'm gonna bring her in and show Kaylee. After. I have my chickens. I want to be brave and have chickens in winter. I just don't. I, I hate taking care of them in winter. I know. But they look good. They look super cute. The zebra's feet are not good. Not as good? It's probably because she's older. You're my favorite. I know. I like the white one. Because that molly does not look like a molly. I think she it's looks supposed like to a be molly. plain white. All right, well, let's let them go and let them explore their little house here. Our wood that is Sam made. Our next chicken coop is going to be bought from the store and then professionally built yeah, onto. His dad helped him do this. Yeah, at least, at least our dad did this for us. We gotta put that there because our chickens were flying up and out. Yeah. All right, you guys, we were at the beach and it got dangerous and scary and wild at our beach. I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. It didn't even get entertaining. It was so entertaining. It was so entertaining and I got it all on video, but I can't show you guys. That was entertaining. Did you no, find it entertaining? If an actual fight broke out, it would be, oh. but no, that was just people screaming. Fight it hurt my ears. Out. A fight almost broke out. Over a girl who was not wearing a top. Over a girl that was, okay. So basically, we are at the beach and it was just like a small little family beach, nothing exciting. And in Ontario, where we live, it is legal for women to not wear shirts. I could take off my shirt and I could walk downtown and go shopping. I probably couldn't go in a store, but I could walk downtown. You can't go in certain stores. No. And I could have no shirt on and it would be legal. I'm legally allowed to do this in Ontario. Anyway, there was a girl there. She was probably, yeah, no, nothing. There's a girl, she's probably in her early 20s. Would you say early 20s? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. I think 30s. You think 30s? Oh yeah, he was a criminal. Okay, so anyways. So, so she was sunbathing on the beach. Pirate ship park? Oh. Yeah. No, that's, that's not the pirate ship park. That's a different park. Oh yeah. Okay, so she was sunbathing on the beach and she got up and she went into the water and everybody watched her go into the water and she didn't have a shirt on. She was with her boyfriend. She swam for a while and then everything went down when she came out of the water. Everybody saw her go in. They were all ready and this, these were parents, you guys. These were parents of this young woman got they out of the water. Parents. They were, yeah, I don't know. They were what also the, drinking. Yeah. yeah, they were drinking on the beach. They shouldn't have been drinking on the beach. Anyways. Any alcohol on the beach is illegal. That's not legal. That's not legal. That's not legal. That is not legal. Anyways, so this girl came and she sat on her blanket and she tried to ignore them, but she walked from the beach to her blanket and all these parents were screaming hysterically at her, calling her. They sounded like hyenas. Calling her names that I can't even say. Like horrible, horrible names, you guys. What are the names? Like, and, and they were saying things like, I hope you die, and, and... Horrible names. Horrible names. Horrible Dirty, names. horrible names. So... Horrible names. So... <laughs> if you get it, you get it. If you get it, you get it. But anyways, basically, nope. uh, we were like in shock. Uh, me and my girls, I'm so proud of my girls. They were like, who cares? It's legal. Like, who cares? Confident, she's a confident young woman. Anyways, I was talking to the man, her husband, or her boyfriend, and I said, like, this is just crazy. And he said, don't worry about it. I'm a criminal defense attorney. So he said he was a criminal defense attorney. But that gang of people all got together and they chased them out of the beach. They chased them out of the beach. They were like, chased them right down. They said that they hoped they'd get in a car crash. They were like chasing the man, trying to fight him. And these people were just so quiet and so calm, doing nothing. I wish I had their, their phone number because I videoed the whole thing, you guys. You guys know I'm a YouTuber and I have always, I'm like, I'm getting my camera! <laughs> and I stood there and I videoed them because that is mob mentality and it was, it was a horrible situation and I'm embarrassed for all these girls to see people treat other people like that. But you know what? Not one person was for this couple except for our entire group and I'm proud of that. I'm so proud of you guys. Like, Kids were yelling at her because the parents were yelling at her. Yeah, like, little kids. Like, her, like oh, little girls there, yelling and There were these at her, men like, there that were like screaming at them, and I'm like, quiet down. We're enjoying like <laughs> our ears, um, and y'all sound like really bad hyenas. Yeah, it was so it was awful. Did so much drama. The did little girls were like ten, and they were telling her to put a shirt on and yelling at her like, cover up. And I'm like, are you serious? 
Yeah. You know what? It might not be for you to, to not have a shirt on in public. And I know a lot of you guys are going to think that it was awful. And a lot of you guys are going to think that it was bad. But what was bad was how she was treated, how she was run out of the park, and how she... It's legal. She was legally allowed to do that by law. Anyway, the, they got on the phone and they were phoning the police. They were all saying, you know, it's not legal. She thinks it's legal, but it's, it is legal. Like, even her boyfriend, who is a criminal defense attorney, said, don't worry, it's okay. I know that it's legal. Like, anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with the footage. I obviously can't put it on this channel because this is a family channel. But... I'm gonna find a way to get it to the news people or something. I don't know. I hope those people get in trouble for drinking on the beach. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.